What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today, we are going to talk about this album from Cause called Affected. Now, Cause is a rapper from Los Angeles, California, who signed the J. Cole's Dreamville label, and I have not reviewed any of his music until now, so I wanted to make sure I came through with this review. You guys have been requesting Cause reviews for probably a couple of years now, and I had to jump into this because obviously I'm sleeping on Cause. And I do have to say, I really did appreciate this album, so like I say once in a while, thank you guys for putting me up on something that I may have been sleeping on. You do get a lot of smooth production on this thing, it's very jazzy with a lot of great bass lines, so some of those tracks were my personal favorites. For example, you got Freaky 45, this has some of that great bass work on it, as well as some nice horns, so this is a very smooth track. And what you're getting content-wise on this one is just Kaz rapping about how he wants a Freaky 45, man. He wants a MILF, he's tired of messing around with these younger girls who are immature, because the MILFs just want that dick, they don't play games, they're going to keep it straight with you. So I've heard allegedly, whatever you want to say. This is what Cause is saying, so, you know, I'm just speaking on his point of view. Now, you also get a 100% certified playalistic Night Rider with the song Bad Do. This shit is just so wavy and smooth, you gotta drive around with it at night. That's the feeling that I got when I heard it. And you know what? It features Currency, who fits the sound perfectly. Currency is known for having that laid-back flow and getting on these type of instrumentals, so this was one of those songs that came together perfectly and easily is one of my favorite tracks. But... You're also going to hear him singing on this hook, as well as on some other tracks, and I feel like his singing is one of his weaker parts, at least in regards to this album, because as I said, I haven't heard much of his other work. But I did notice on this album that when he sings, he does come through with some decent melodies, like he's holding it together, but you aren't going to get any great harmonies or anything overly unique about his vocal performance. You'll notice this on the songs About It and My Love. About It also features just a soulless auto croon verse from Garen. Didn't really care for that song too much. And, you know, the hook on That's The Thing was actually one of the better ones where he was singing. I gotta bring that song up because there's actually a female layer on this one, and that voice actually adds quite a bit to the track. So, that was a wise decision, but Kaz's singing in general, I mean, I'm just not a big fan of it. And it even seems out of place at times. On Van Ness, we get this all-out gangsta-ass banger. I love the warbling bass on this, it just thumps the high fuck. But again, we're getting a bit of singing on here, and it felt out of place. Still one of my favorite tracks, it doesn't ruin it, but I just feel like maybe a more aggressive hook would have suited this style. But I mean, hey, it's his song, so he's making the music he wants to make. Now that track is definitely one of the biggest bangers on here, but you are going to get another 808 heavy, ignorant ass banger called Ignorant Confidence. This one just has cause showing off some ignorant confidence, man. He's calling out girls with saggy titties, calling out some bitch niggas. It's kind of just a silly track, but it still knocks. So I do appreciate it for what it is. And these are the two tracks you're going to come to if you want something to blast in your trunk. So he does have a little bit of variety on here. But since I have talked about some of the features, let's talk about the two big ones, Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. You're getting J. Cole on Zendaya. On this one, J. Cole and Kaz are just showing love for each other, just the support they have since they came together and have been making music, obviously. But the thing that stuck out to me the most on here is when J. Cole compares the crack epidemic of the 80s to what we're seeing now with all the pills, you know? A lot of rappers have been dying from pills, popping that shit, it really is a problem. And I just thought it was very cool how he compared these two issues because he doesn't want to see these cycles continue, man. He speaks on how some people aren't being the best parents they can be, you know, kids are coming up fatherless, and drugs obviously play a part into that, so... You know, J. Cole's always coming through with that type of shit, so I appreciate him saying that. There's certainly some good moments with the content and some good lyrics on this album. But as for Kendrick, he jumps on one of the standout cuts called Hustler's Story. As expected, this one is just getting into a lot of Hustler's stories, man. This is another smooth track with a slick bass line, and you really are getting bars about how people get caught up in that hustle life. I thought Cause in particular was spitting quite vividly on here, just about how you can get caught up in the streets, you might get isolated when you're doing these types of things, so this is just another example of the great content on this album. As for Kendrick, he doesn't come through with a full verse, but I really did like his hook and bridge work on this thing. It really helped tie the whole song together, and I kind of like when Kendrick does some sing-songy shit. He's also working some kind of rapid flows there on one of the bridges at the end, so that was something that was very dope, and I think the features for the most part fit in nicely on this album. I just didn't really care for that Garen one, which I did bring up. Now, to get more into the thought-provoking content on here, I gotta shout out the song Affected. This is the title track, and here we really are getting that Cali sound. It kind of reminds me of some of that old-school West Coast shit because of the bass and the piano keys. 
On this one, Kaz is just going into detail about how he doesn't really trust people too much. He really breaks it down. He lets people know that if you're not a gangster, you shouldn't say you are because real gangsters are going to fuck you up. So you got to trust your damn self because if you're out here talking reckless, you're going to get fucked up. But the funniest line to me is when he speaks on how he learned not to trust people because of one of his cousins. One of his cousins actually stole a fucking Charizard Pokemon card from him. That is some terrible shit, man. You got to kill a motherfucker for doing something like that. Motherfuckers have been killed for less. I just thought it was funny how he brought that up, and that was a moment he knew you can't trust people. And that's fair to say, man. Someone steals your good Pokemon card, you gotta be pretty pissed off about that. So I definitely appreciate that he had a couple nerdy references on here. There was even one where he was saying that niggas is pink like Kirby. He was calling them pussies. Uh, that was on the song Questions. So Cause definitely has some bars. There's fun references, good content, and lyricism and stuff throughout this thing. And I'm gonna go with a 3.5 out of 5. Now, I didn't like that singing, as I mentioned. I do like singing blended in with my rap music, but there has to be something kind of interesting with it. I'm talking about guys like Zero and Devin the Dude. They're just two of the masters who I would bring up when speaking on this topic. But, you know, I also found there wasn't anything too distinct to cause his rap style. He's still a great rapper. Like, I enjoyed listening to his verses. There's a great beat selection here, just lots of good things. But I still think he could do even better than this based off of what I heard. So I like a good chunk of tracks here. This will probably be something that'll make an honorable mention at the end of the year. So 3.5 out of 5 feels fair to me. But you guys hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts. I always want to know what you think. And as usual, man, hit up my social media sites, baby. Show me love and show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.